And here's Tyler Bate, a man who has been making history since his first day in WWE. The first ever United Kingdom champion. Bates not the biggest guy. He's not the most experienced, but he is pure talent. Bringing an unorthodox twist to the British strong style of competition. Bate is a grinder, a brawler, and frankly, I think a lot of fun to watch. But don't let the charming smile of Montez Ford fool you into thinking he's an easy target. Ford is one of the most fiercely competitive superstars here in WWE. He loves to take on new challenges and prove that he can rise to the occasion. An admirable trait to have, but if Montez wants to reach such big aspirations, he's going to have to fully focus on the ring instead of planning after parties. is it oh no getting in position what's he planning to do here oh he fights bait back placed in the corner oh target in the arm this has got to hurt trying to take away that grip that range of motion on that end. bait cuts him off hooked him up and a suplex cover shoulders are down One count's getting harder and harder to kick out of. Oh, strong knee connects. Uh-oh. Rampage! Oh, man. Held in a perilous position. Montez Ford is simply trying out wrestling. While he's a superb athlete and a top-tier high flyer, Ford isn't really a technical mastermind. You might get the better of him with some high IQ offense. That's a very intriguing strategy, Corey, and I agree it's one that could be very effective. Time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Here is your winner, Tyler Bates. This was a truly spectacular win. They are riding high on this win. This celebration might carry on the rest of the month. <laughs>